All right, so let's look at the answers uh, for Right to the Hill. So here we have Pauline, I'd rather do it myself, thank you. So that was A, so it reveals a character, personalities, thoughts, mood, feelings, opinions, and problems. So she's kind of upset um, with Martin, so it reveals her character. And then we have D, it creates atmospheres, the fact that she's upset. Uh, number two would be A, hey, that's not a horse, that's an elephant. So it reveals that that's a pretty big, big horse. Then number three, it's E. So it gives information about um, important things that have happened in the past or will happen in the future. And about things that happen during the course of the drama, but not on stage. Uh, five, we have A and E. And B would also be considered okay. Then we have number six, C and D. So it moves the plot forward and it creates atmosphere. And number seven, it's A. So it reveals a character's personality. For number eight, we have, uh, so anything between page 43 and 45, there are many uh, quotes that can be used. So if I give you an example, we have one here, she's not leaving here until he's groomed, so she's upset, she just want to do her thing, she doesn't want to talk or speak to Martin, so she's just putting him aside, putting Martin aside. Um, so there's many quotes. Here, uh, Pauline and Martin be begin to become his friend, and it's page 46 when Pauline says, I could teach you if you like. So she's offering Martin to show him how to ride the horse. And then for question 10, if they would have met in the city, so bottom of page 48 and top of page 49, if they would have met in the city, then they probably wouldn't have known each other, talked to each other because, well, they would have looked weird together and Martin would have felt like his friend could have laughed at them and then when she started to realize that it's where he was going with this then she started to be upset and uh, that's how he hurt her feelings. Then we have question 11 so it shows conflicts between Pauline and Martin there are many so anything between uh, 40, page 43, 44, 45 there are many different quotes again. Uh, here so find a speech that shows the conflicts seems to be resolved. So if we come here, so same as the question nine, uh, I could teach you if you like. So and question thirteen, uh, where in the Martin's monologue on page forty-eight does a new source of conflict appear? So that's pretty much the same as here. So it's as soon as he says, we'd probably be so worried about what people were going to say and how we'd look. So that's where she started to catch on where he was going with this, with it, and uh, that's how it started the conflict. Then question 12, find speeches to answer these ones. So what does Pauline want? Well, she, he's going back. I don't want another horse. So she wants her horse, Stanley. She wants Stanley, not another one. And for question 13, what does Martin want? Well, he wants her to keep the horse. So please do me a favor and take your horse back. So he doesn't really want it. And for the next questions, there are many, again, uh, possible answers. Uh, if you're not sure if you have the right answer, you can always uh, send me an email. And here for question 18, when does the tension between Pauline and Martin begins to relax? It's at the bottom of, um, or middle, page of 46. So up to here, page 46, they started to uh, be nicer to each other. And then question 19, what other moods does dialogue create? So some sadness, some joys, reconciliation, acceptance there. Again, there are many different answers here. And question 20, she needs to accept that she's going to get a new horse and that her horse is leaving. So it's a mood of sadness. And now question 21, so what effect does these speeches have on the mood 
of the scene, so that's page 49, so it reintroduced tension. So they were became friends, they liked each other, but after what Martin said, at the bottom of page 48, uh, it reintroduced tension. What do they show about Pauline's personality? That she's very sensitive, uh, volatile, moody, so you gotta be careful what you say around her and how you say it. So that's it. And uh, if you have any question, let me know, send me an email or anything, and I'll answer.